will find ways to fight against elder abuse. And that is one of the goals of the city's community forum that's taking place this Saturday. And joining us to talk more about this type of crime in particular is District Attorney Summer Stefan. Good morning, Summer. Good to see you. Good morning. This, this issue of elder abuse is something that's so heartbreaking uh, that we talk about because really it is protecting one of our, our most vulnerable communities. It is. I mean, that's exactly how we're going to be judged is how we care for our young and our old right. and our vulnerable. And, um, you know, we try to do it in many different ways. And this Saturday will be another way to prevent elder abuse. Give us the typical file of one of both sides of this equation, the typical abuser, the typical abusee. Well, unfortunately, it's often a caretaker or uh, an older son who's become addicted to drugs and uh, is wants more and more money, and now they're 40 and they've got their elderly parents. We see that. We also see just a lot of scams and financial abuse, 4,500 reports of elder financial abuse just last year. The scams are rampant and they're very tough to track because once they depart with their money, it's hard to get their money back. We work very hard through our economic fraud division, our elder abuse division, to try to get them restitution, to make them whole, but oftentimes their savings are mostly gone. And that's why we want to prevent it in the first place. What is unique about the Saturday is that we are partnering with the Filipino American Chamber and October is Filipino American History Month and they asked us for this topic in crime prevention. We told them what is it that you're seeing in your community and what they were seeing is a lot of elder crimes, elder financial abuse and other forms of abuse and the, many of our Filipino Americans are in the helping industries. They're nurses Nurses, they work as caretakers and they wanted this to be a two-part where we help educate those caretakers on how to watch for the red flags but also how to prevent elder abuse. Yeah, when you talk about that and prevention, are there typically triggers that you often see? We, we do see triggers, then one of the main triggers is isolation because, you know, seniors, they're not to work every day, uh, they start to lose their connection. Sometimes they're not driving, they become isolated. So they become perfect targets for caretakers. In fact, one thing that we're seeing now is these methamphetamine addicts targeting a senior and moving in with that senior to say, we're gonna t prepare your meals, we're gonna take care of you, but instead they end up scamming them. Family members are not really taking care to check who is this person that's moving in with my parent, with my senior that I love? You know, what are they really doing? Where are the checks going? So very important that we constantly talk to our seniors, lay eyes on them, come visit them, because they may not tell you over the phone because they don't want to bother you, mm -hmm. but if you're talking to them, you're going to hear about an unlicensed contractor that they they paid two thousand dollars to upfront, which is illegal, and they never did their remodel of their bathroom. You're gonna hear about that they just gave away money because they thought Social Security was gonna stop their payments or that they owe the IRS. So communication is the key to prevention. And besides checking in, what else can we do to help prevent the neighbor next door or that elderly person in our lives? Well, watch for signs. We get many of the reports from neighbors. We are a really caring community. People seeing that, you know, the senior, they, don't, they haven't seen that senior in a while. They see a bunch of people coming in and out that don't look like they're there to take care of the senior. They are seeing that there is like a roof that's half hanging and the work isn't done. We get these tips through the San Diego DA's office. We also get them at
Child Protective Services, and that's a great place to put tips to check on the senior. If you're not sure it's criminal or it's not, just calling Adult Protective Services, they're mandated reporters, they'll follow up, and if it is a law enforcement issue, they will reach out to us. Well, all, right. well, all this information and a lot more will be at the meeting on Saturday. Again, it is uh, 10 to noon uh, at the Filipino American Chamber of Commerce, as, as you mentioned. Free parking, there you go. Uh, that information, as well as a link to a website with more information, will be available at KUSI.com. Summer, as always, thank you so much thank for, for you. coming in. Appreciate right it. Back.